presenting the award for Breakout Fighter of the Year is Muay Thai Association of the Philippines Secretary General Pearl Managilon. Despite these trying times, our martial artists still rose above the adversity and competed in world-class competitions. They did so not just for themselves, but to inspire each and every one of us that one day we will overcome. It is my great pleasure to present the Hit List Breakout Fighter of the Year to a martial artist who has been away from home for the entire year. And despite the cards handed to her, she still succeeded in her field, going 2-0 in one championship. She is none other than Muay Thai practitioner and one championship sensation, Denise Zambuanga. Congratulations to Denise Zambuanga for winning the Breakout Fighter of the Year. Ngayon, kausapin natin ulit ang tatlong ginoo na kasama natin on the show. Uh, to me, it's a toss-up between Yumir Marshall and Denise Zambuanga. But what do you think that sealed the deal for Denise as the young athlete who shined the brightest in 2020? Let's start with Santino. Santino. Okay, before I get into my take, uh, yung, percent, yung breakdown of votes let's see how people voted landslide to ni si uh, Denise Zambuanga garnered 85 a whopping 85% of the total votes while uh, the other fighter you mentioned Yumir Marshall uh, uh, incoming Olympian and recently turned pro he got 15% of the total votes uh, the other nominees were Lito Adiwang and Magic Mike Plania now para sa akin I think uh, without question, Denise Zambuanga was the breakout fighter of this year. Uh, even uh, it started uh, February when he when she faced ayun nga, uh, si Mia Maguchi, who, who has fought for the one women's atom weight title twice. Uh, the second fight against Angela Lee, many, many will argue that she was able to, uh, where she supposed, she was supposed to win that fight. And Denise Zambuanga stepping up, dominating Mia Maguchi the way she did, being, uh, as I said earlier, a relatively unknown heading into that fight. Very, very impressive. Yun. And it, ano, it put a spotlight on how good, how talented Filipino athletes, Filipino fighters can be. Si Denise Zambuanga has uh, massive, massive potential. Uh, She's, only, she's still very young. I think she's only 23 years old. She has ways to go. She has ways, uh, she has uh, levels of improvement to reach. And the fact that she's already a title contender at this point in her career, just three fights in, so one championship, it's an impressive, a very impressive feat. Uh, we're very, very excited to see what Denise Zambuanga can achieve in 2021. Now, now let's go to Jason. Jason. Yeah, um, as Santino mentioned, uh, Denise's performances this year, like, wow. Um, she's five fights into her pro career now, but now she's, you know, sky's the limit for her it's, um, within one championship. Um, with Marshall, it's unfortunate. Yeah, he was slated to go to the Olympics. Fortunately, that didn't push through. So we, it remains to be seen what he can achieve both in the pro and the Olympic ranks. But um, as far as performances of what ha did happen this year, Denise Zambuanga, hands down, very impressive. Now, Robert. Yeah, uh, I agree with both of them. Actually, despite her age, parang pinapakita ni Denise para na siyang veteran lumaban. Actually, before the Yamaguchi mm -hmm. fight, dun pa lang sa Radzuan fight back in December, dun pa lang nakita na natin yung potential niya. Then, mm -hmm. with, when she fought Mia Yamaguchi back in February, dun nakita na talaga natin what else or yung potential na pwede niya pang gawin moving forward. And yun nga, unfortunately, hindi natin nakita yung the Angela Lee fight, which is she the next in line uh, sa title. Pero nakita natin sa May Yamaguchi fight, how she dominated May. What, mm. you know, what more? Kung ano pa yung mm. pwede natin abangan sa mga future performances ni Denise Zamboanga. So definitely 100% uh, breakout fighter of the year. Oh, palong palo. Para na sa paka sa mukha ha Silipin at sulitin ang galaw at ang maraha Ingat sa binabangga baka masagasa Marami nakaharaw makitid ang daan Tahimik lang tahimik at mainit ang kalsa